me bad. <laughs> I'm making the spiciest cheeseburger ever. And then I'm gonna eat it. Medium heat, breadcrumbs, seven pop primo powder, Hell Garden Flakes, Fiery Jack 16 million pure capsaicin. You know that saying, this is where he screwed up, when people say that? Well, this is where I screwed up. I don't know if it was a seven pop primo powder, but <coughs> it's like caught the back of my throat. Ugh, went airborne, went airborne on me. My nose is running, I haven't even ate it yet. <laughs> yeah, I got all up in my sinuses and uh, we'll touch more on that in a bit. <laughs> Not only is this the spiciest burger I ever had, but probably also one of the heaviest. So while that's cooking, we're gonna make up our Monster Mac sauce. Pepper X oil. Some more pure capsaicin. Doesn't that look like a spicy, delicious treat from Dairy Queen that you'd wanna give to your spouse? The end. <coughs> See, <coughs> seasoning. And we're also gonna add in some fresh peppers. Well, I don't know how fresh they are. They've been in my fridge for like three weeks, but we'll add them in. So the burger's so thick, it's been on the pan for like five minutes and it still didn't even melt the cheese. <laughs> Wait, <what? coughs> Our three week old peppers. Next, we got some pickles, some dirty old pickles. So please be careful if you do or handle any kind of capsaicin. And you can never have <coughs> enough pickles. Trust me, more pickles the better. Especially when they're dirty old pickles. All right, couple more, couple more. God damn it. Yeah, that stuff really went airborne, eh? <laughs> Wait till Olivia gets home. Uh, she ain't gonna be happy. Okay, next I got this bear spray hot sauce from Stoke the Fire. I haven't tried it yet, but it's very hot. Caution, looks delicious. Half a bottle. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're gonna get a weight on it. So I have a similar plate to the one I'm using. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put that on there and then we're gonna tear it off. We are in ounces and then we're gonna see 24 ounces. <coughs> oh. All right, everybody, I think I'm ready to ruin the rest of my night. Yeah. So, let's do this. Brutal. Going to set the timer. See how long this takes us. Anybody else wants to try to do this, ch uh, tag me so I can see it or let me know. I think this is the world's spiciest burger. And if you guys find another spicier burger than this, let me know too, also on that. Don't try this at home. Let's go. We're off. Oh, look at it. I can barely get a bite. Oh, boy. I'm getting flashbacks of that taste. I got a strong capsaicin taste, like chemical. Like all in the meat. My mouth is already like a four or five. 
and climbing. Ugh. It was hard to actually eat it. Like the meat was so saturated. They, I know they say capsaicin has no flavor or smell. It just, it adds like a, a, almost like a chemical taste to the meat and it was brutal. It kept affecting my gag, as you'll see later on. And uh, I was tasting a little bit of the sauce and the peppers, but uh, it was horrendous, the taste of the meat. I, I don't know, like I just probably shouldn't have poured it all on there that much. We had an absolutely horrendous aftermath too. Could I got the giblets up a few times but couldn't keep food down, couldn't keep any food down. And yeah, it was, it was really extreme. I was able to taste a little bit of the peppers, but you know, like I said, the sauce too, maybe a little bit. It was tough though. It just seemed like, here we go. <laughs> That's the beginning of the end. <laughs> we almost lost her. But it was just got god awful that taste. It, it's not even eight really a taste. Seven, eight maybe. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Oh, I don't know why I'm red, guys. You know, uh, I'm kind of getting worried here uh, because it seems like, uh, you know, I, I did, my tolerance is low right now and it seemed like I did have almost an endorphin dump early. It seemed early to me, like it, almost like all that capsaicin bypassed my prep and my protection in my uh, stomach. So I was getting really worried. You know, it's not a good sign when you can... I had such a strong oh, burn sick. all over the mouth, tongue. It wasn't so much at the throat, but it was just all over my mouth. And I could feel it in my stomach. So I thought maybe we were going to throw up. And had, had the snots running there. <laughs> but it was tough, right? Because... The whole bottom of my nose was on fire, like right here. <laughs> it was on fire. Oh, you're so close. Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to do this in 10 minutes. Almost two pound burger. We're going. Brutal. Brutal. But yeah, I was just so taken back by how the heat really got to my, through my stomach so quickly. And I thought I was gonna lose it a few times. Well, we almost do coming up here. I just, I knew I was in for a long night and it is one good way to raise your tolerance. But again, you wanna be safe, right? For you know, I am, I do heavy spice a lot of the times, so please do not try this at home. And yeah. oh, it did, it was like right here. Her. Had to choke her back. Uh. Woo. But that, uh, it was just affecting my gag reflex so bad. Breathe. <coughs> just trying to settle myself down.
Uh, oh, thanks for watching, guys. I think it was probably around 20 minutes. So yeah, basically in between setting up shots, the, the fumes got so bad in the air, it did affect my sinuses. Everything started dripping and leaking. And I, I was wiping and touching my face. And you can just see in this shot right here how red my cheek is. It's It actually gets a little more swollen by the end of the video. And my nose, I've touched my nose. And then actually you can barely tell, but all underneath my nose was just, everything was on fire.